welcome back to another video of master IV fluid course and today we're going to talk about fluid replacement and management in post-operative patients so if you're not in general surgery or any of the surgery fields you may wonder why do I need this but in the United States hospitalists who are mainly internal medicine physicians they take care of these patients very commonly and work with the surgeon on their fluid management, electrolyte disturbances, and manage their medical problems. So it's important to have an idea about the fluid management in post-operative patients. And of course, my first advice, if you are an internal medicine physician consulted on this, is to discuss this with the primary surgeon. Why? Because the primary surgeon, he's the one who witnessed everything intraoperatively he's the one who can anticipate the fluid kind of disturbances that will happen in general post-operative patients they can have as you know blood losses right which could be intraoperatively or could be post-operatively right they may have gi losses especially if it's gi surgery Again, intraoperatively, postoperatively, third spacing, where there is significant leak, capillary leak, and the fluid start leaking into all these extravascular spaces. Okay, and the postoperative stress that can lead to SIADH. So that's another factor the also the ongoing losses after surgery so these post-op patients will have drains just tubes abdominal drains whatever and they can keep losing fluids there so you need to pay attention to all of that now the first rule whenever you have a post-operative patient at least every day you should have a cmp or a bmp which should include measuring the potassium, as all of you know, measuring the sodium, measuring the beer and, and creatinine, measuring calcium. This should be on daily basis. Very important, because that will make you catch any major electrolyte disturbances early. A lot of the problem that we, or the story you've heard about people dying, let's say from severe hyponatremia, which happened quite, uh, before is because they were giving hypotonic solution uh, and they were not monitoring on daily basis the electrolytes okay now we finish this now the fluid replacement here it's either fall as we talked on previous videos um, volume resuscitation under volume resuscitation where we are replacing abnormal losses okay or it will fall under maintenance IV fluid where the patient is not having any abnormal losses but he's in PO postoperatively for a reason or another mainly this is with GI surgeries right so we need to put them on some maintenance IV fluid to replace their physiologic losses. Okay. So these are the main things. Next video, we'll start talking about the volume resuscitation in post-operative patient. And then after that, we'll talk about maintenance IV fluid resuscitation in post-operative patient. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.